Hello everyone, my name is Michele and uh, today we are solving this problem called Array DS uh, at HackerRank. So this is um, labeled as an easy problem and uh, what we need to do in order to solve this problem so basically we have an input, an array made of integers and, uh, and a dimension. So this 4 here is the dimension of our array and this is our array. So what we need to do is to, um, to, to write a function in order to reverse this array and print out the same components of uh, this uh, array. We have an input in, um, in the reverse order. So for example here we have 1, 4, 3, 2. We have to print out 2, 3, 4, 1. So just to make things even more clear, let's try to um, try another example. So here we have uh, an array of dimension 5, uh, composed by 5, 3, 4, 1, 2. So the dimension of this array will be, uh, of course, 5. But uh, we need to, to, to remember that the first element of the array is uh, characterized by the index 0. So our last element will be dimension minus 1, in this case 4. Um, to solve this exercise we need to build another array of the same dimension, so dimension 5, uh, and copy the element of the first array in a reverse order. So 2, 1, 4, 3 and then 5. So uh, the dimension will be of course the same and we will start reading the input array from the last element, copy this element on the first position of the new array and do the same thing things for all the other elements in, uh, in the array that we have, uh, we have in input. So here we are back to our beautiful hacker and platform and uh, let's try to, to complete this function here and uh, solve this problem. So in input, as you can see, we have an array made of integers and this is called A. So let's just declare a new array called a new array of, um, uh, of integers, of course. And let's call it res. This will be a new integer array. And the dimension will be the same, the same dimension of the array we have in input. So A dot len. Okay, so we will write a simple for loop here from, uh, we'll go from 0 to the, um, the length, so the dimensions of our array and then we will increment our, our index i here. So for, for each i we consider we need to, um, to let's say, to, to add some elements to this, uh, this array here. So the first element will be, of course, the last element of the array we have in input. So, uh, res uh, in index i will be the element we find in uh, the last uh, position of uh, the input array a. Minus 1, this is really important because the dimension, as I said, in this example here, the dimension is 4, but the, the last element is in position 3 because we start from 0, 0, 1, 2 and 3. And uh, here we also need to subtract i because we will loop through, through all the elements of, uh, of this array. So the last thing we, we need to do, so outside of uh, our for loop here, we need to return our new array we, uh, we declared here. So that's it. It should work. Let's uh, let's check this out. Let's run this code again. So okay, this uh, seems to work. Let's try the other test cases. And okay, guys, this is this works. This is a really uh, straightforward uh, solution. As I said, this is not a, an art problem. But I'm planning to do these problems starting from the easy one and then going going on um, trying to solve. Uh, all the others, uh, all the other, let's say, uh, data structures problems uh, we can find in HackerRank. And I'm planning to do this kind of videos trying to explain in, in a clear way um, what I'm, how I'm trying to solve this problem. So if you like content like this, please let me know in the comments and uh, consider subscribing if you want uh, to, to follow this, uh, this series of videos. See you next time. Thank you.